What's good team? Today we're gonna to be going over a trade I took on Coinbase where we made $2,000 in profit. And the goal is to explain to you guys what exactly I was looking for, why I entered the trade, and specifically why my targets were set in those areas. If you guys wanna trade live with me every single day, go check out our Discord community. It's completely free. You guys get access to courses, live streams, seminars, webinars. And if you want access to all of my trades, all my trading bots, as well as much more, the link will be in the description to get your premium roll over there. And it's completely free for your first month. So the goal is you guys join for free and then you make money that will pay for itself. So the offer is a fucking no brainer. Now let's take a look at coin. So today I have been day trading a lot this week and today we saw a very beautiful setup on coin. And so what we were looking at was this move up here. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to set our replay bars up and we're going to watch just how we're starting to see these higher highs within the day. And we're going to watch this RSI at the bottom. I know I'm a broken record with my trading strategy, but it's literally the same thing every single day. So as we're starting to move our way up, this is 9.54 in the morning. We're watching a three minute chart. We're moving up, up, up. And then something happens, something different happens. So I want you to see here that first, as we're making higher highs here, the RSI is making higher highs. It's not bad, right? Now, what happens? Oh, well, and now as we make this higher high here, we actually make a lower high on the RSI. And so what that's called is a bearish divergence as a stock on any time frame is making a higher high and the RSI is making a lower high. That is a bearish divergence. Now, normally two of them. So as you see the higher high and then the lower high, that's like, all right, there's a bearish divergence when we get to three. So like if coin would have made a third high with a lower high on the RSI, that's that's put city. So we ended up entering our position. I just want to turn this on so you guys can start to see kind of how price was moving here. So when I entered this trade, and I talk about this a lot, I have to decide where my, pro my profit targets are first. So as I went short on this, I said, all right, a break of trend would be a break of this level of 53.70. So that's first profit target, or really that's my pivot. Now I, I did go heavy on this, so I will say that I, I sold too soon, but my second level would be right down here, about 53.30, next level down at like 52.92. So these are kind of the levels that I'm going to be looking at. So as we start to move up, you're going to see that we're pulling back and we're watching this level. We're seeing if we can break. I'm still moving this over so you guys can see. So now we're getting up into my stop loss level, but right before a break. And now here's the deal, right? I want you guys to understand this. That came so close and I would not have sold instantly. I would have made sure we held over 55, but like sometimes shit happens. Sometimes it'll move up. It'll hit your stop. You'll get stopped out and then the drop happens. Fuck it whatever like your goal is not to the, the reason that trading is so hard is that not only do you have to be right but you have to be right under a ton of variables you have to set proper stops you have to set proper take profits sometimes it'll just hit a stop and then completely reverse like there's so many variables that this trade could have ended up tagging out and even if we dropped i don't give a fuck whatever i'm on to the next trade take 12 day trades a day i don't give a shit i'm not attached to anything i'm not attached to any trade I'm not attached to any stock so we come down here and I, I took profits right here at 53.72. Now, I'll be quite honest, I really don't know what ended up happening from here because I ended up moving on to another trade. But the reason I took profits here, okay, so I want to I want to show you this. I actually, all right, so this, is, this is actually really good because I didn't continue to watch this. I actually don't know what happens here. But, but looking at this, I took profits down here because I had a lot of money in this trade. We bounced. Now, what do you see? What pattern are you beginning to see here now? I don't know if this is actually going to pan out, but look, starting to see head and shoulders. I actually really like doing these types of videos with this replay. So we're doing, we see this, we have head and shoulders, right? So I would have, if I was still watching this and I didn't move on, I would have went short here. So let's just say, I don't know, fuck it, a thousand shares go short. I don't actually know what's going to happen. So I would have went short here. And the way that I would have set this up is going short at 54.29. Preferably, I would want to say I'll set a stop loss on a higher high, like up at 55 and then set a take profit somewhere down here. Two to one RVR is not the best. I really should be moving a stop up to like 54.75. So let's just see what happens for, for shits and giggles. Let's see if I make some cash. So first price target was hit. That's kind of our pivot level. I wouldn't have gotten out yet. Still holding. Okay, nice drop, nice drop, nice drop. And I definitely would have covered that. So we would have made $1,000 there, right? I didn't know that was gonna happen. Now, it's this is why I'm saying guys, like it's all about probabilities because there's a chance that this would have just completely ripped back up. But the thing is that people get their heads completely wrapped around the idea of a specific pattern and that, they, oh, this pattern's here and this pattern's happening and, 
and I have to play this. Oh, and now that it didn't just instantly fucking shit the bed there, this is no longer a head and shoulders. Bro, it is. It's a head and shoulders. Some of them look fucking janky. Some of them have a shoulder like that. Dude, it's whatever. We didn't break structure. We didn't make this higher high here. And then we traded down. So overall, I hope this video helped. I mean, I didn't plan to actually do the rest of this, but I hope that this video helped. If you guys like more videos like this, go ahead and check out our Discord community. You get access to all of our trades. It's completely free. And the trades part where you get access to all my trades and the bots, that is $50 a month, but it's free your first month. And the goal is that you make some profits, which will easily pay for your membership. Thanks for all the support, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.